Ross, and you watch the ladboxing.com. coming he's going to fight you tooth and nail and um, you got to be ready for that and that's what makes him so dangerous he's big he's strong I'm big I'm strong so he's really a threat he really is a dangerous person to be dealing with right now a, a day of oh boy that's, that's a rough day um, normally I'm about 637 I do my anywhere from four to eight miles um, depending on the day um, Come back and grab some rest, and then we'll we'll go to the gym right around 12. We'll spar 15, 16, 17, sometimes 20 rounds. Um, we'll do our floor exercises, um, and if we don't do it, if we, if we do just all floor, we'll go on doing about you know 25, 30 rounds of on floor. Um, keep me there for about two hours, getting everything ready, working on our game plan. I'll come back home, get a little rest, and back to the gym again at nine. And um, I do all my core physical endurance and weight training. Right around then, I finish up right around 12, and I come back and get some rest. 11, 12. So you do lift some weights in your training? Oh yeah, I do core, um, physical weight training, uh, physical endurance training, uh, pool. You name it. I, I tell you what, I, I'm I'm probably a workhorse. I work a different different way. I think. I don't know. You know, I, I believe I believe I can say that I mean, he's a great fighter in his in his respective style and his way. I think this is another, it's another step in the right direction, but the steel style is so different. So it, I, they pose two different obstacles. So to say he's better or it's a step up, you can't really say that. And what about with your training camp? How does that differ? How is it the same with your fight with the uh, and Um Well, I, I've worked a little harder at this camp. I mean, I just I've actually took my intensity level up a step higher um, and doing so much more than what I, you know, have done in the past just because I really want this more. Are you concerned that he gains, you know, like he pulls into the ring at 148? No. I'm a big guy too, so I mean, it's no big worry. Is he the, is he the biggest opponent so far? Yeah, you know what? He really is. He's going to be one of the biggest guys I've ever fought. So, are you uh, utilize your jab? Oh, absolutely. I'm, I'm going to uh, fight a hard fight. I'm, like I said, it's not going to be much movement. It's not going to be. A, we, we might be able to fight this fight in the phone booth, but uh, there are going to be things I'm going to use. I mean, I'll be able, I'll be using my jab. You'll be seeing my jab still. Um, you'll be seeing good shots and good turn shots and you know stuff like that. Are you going for the uh, for a second year uh, in a row, uh, fighter of the year? I really am. Yeah, I am going for a second year in a row. Um, and, and hopefully I can do that. You know, there's so many big fights out there, possibilities, and this is the, the scratching surface. So your left and right hooks are they enough to knock out Castillo? I think they are. I believe they are. I mean, they got they got to be placed right and they got to be placed all together. But yeah, I can. What did you think about uh, Castillo and his fir his first fight with Mayweather? What did you think? Uh, I I never saw it. You I ne I have fight? never seen it. Okay. All right. Thanks a lot. Una pelea muy dura, muy complicada. 
pero bueno, tenemos bastante confianza que vamos a, a ganar, ¿no? Y, y, a, y va a ser por acá. I think it's going to be a very difficult fight. It's going to be a hard fight, and I think uh, this fight is in a knockout. ¿Crees que verás que se finalice en un knockout? Sí, 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 porque él es un boxeador muy fuerte, muy fuerte, y yo también soy un boxeador muy fuerte. Como dije, va a ser un, un choque de búfalos y va a ganar el más fuerte, ¿no? Y el que esté mejor preparado. Yeah, like I said, you know, this is like two buffaloes going at each other. Uh, the strongest guy, the strongest one will win, and I, I see this fight as going that way. Pudiste boxear muy bien a, a Díaz, lo hiciste lo que quisiste con él, lo dominaste. ¿Crees que puedes hacer lo mismo con Chico Corrales? Bueno, todavía no tengo el plan de, de pelea, ¿no? Solo va a ser mi entrenador, pero pienso yo y creo que, que yo debo hacer una pelea, estar en corto, eh, pegado a su cuerpo dándole golpes, porque si le doy la distancia me, me gana, ¿no? Mucho más fácil. Yeah, I, I know we know we haven't talked about a specific strategy, but I think I have to be inside of him. I think uh, he's going to beat me if I see, if, he, if, if he's standing outside of me, I'm not going to have a chance to win. He said that he has two rivals very hard, Casamayor and Diaz. Where do you put him to Corrales between those rivals? No, well, much more powerful than them, because Casamayor is a rival very difficult, Diaz is a boxer very intelligent, and well, now I'm going to have to face the fortaleza, no? I think, you know, total, total, uh, totally different guys, you know, with Casamayor, the style, awkward, was hard, with Diaz, I thought he was very intelligent, very fast, and now I'm, f I'm facing the strong guy, you know, it's the strength against strength. Esta pelea, ¿cómo la compararías con las dos peleas de Mayweather? Muy diferente, porque Mayweather es un, es un boxeador muy vivo, eh, que no le gusta que le peguen, es un boxeador que, que no luce ni deja lucir, ¿no? Y es muy diferente a, a Corrales. I think you see a, a lot better fight because uh, you know Mayweather is like one of those guys that doesn't make you look good. He doesn't look good. He doesn't make you look good. It's just an ugly fight and he wins. ¿Qué es lo que sigue después de la pelea de Corrales? Bueno, espero que sea una pelea fácil, ¿no? Y posiblemente buscar el título super ligero. Hopefully, it'll be an easy fight. Alguien que estés pensando ahorita que después de esta pelea te gustaría te enfrentar. No sé, como el número 25 de las clasificaciones, no sé, o el 30, o un taxista, no sé, y posteriormente buscar el, el, el Walter Jr. Yeah, I, I like to fight a guy that's on, you know, on the top 25, you know, maybe 30, maybe a taxi driver somewhere, but, uh, you know, but later on maybe I'll go for the uh, 140 title. ¿Qué es, lo, ¿Qué es lo que debe esperar el público de esta pelea? Una pelea muy interesante, no sé si sería... Eh, Morales Barrera o algo así, pero una pelea muy 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 interesante que la gente va a, sal, va a salir muy contenta de la arena. I think you're gonna see a fight that's uh, very uh, very exciting. I don't know if it'll be a Morales Barrera tough fight, but I think you're gonna see a top level fight. De que la gente va a ser el 5 de mayo. ¿Crees que la gente te va a apoyar a ti mucho? Va a estar en Las Vegas apoyándote. Pues no sé, no sé, porque bueno, las últimas peleas me ha apoyado bastante bastante bien la la, la raza, ¿no? Y bueno, espero que esta vez no me no me vayan a fallar para que me den su su buen ánimo. I think over the last couple of fights, you know, the public been with me. They've been going out there and seeing my fights, and I hope uh, they do it again. I'm looking forward to them back in uh, this fight. ¿Cómo qué tan duro es concentrarte después de tanto tiempo sin descanso? Pues son más duras las chingadas concentraciones que las peleas, no. Pero bueno, ni modo es trabajo y hay que hacerlo. Alguien le tocó bailar con la más fea y creo que es a mí, pero pues ni modo, no. ¿En qué basa tu confianza que vas a salir victorioso en esta pelea? Un, digo que en mi poquita inteligencia que tengo arriba del ring y en la fortaleza también, ¿no? Que, que, que también tengo bastante fortaleza. ¿No quisiste venir aquí este a, a donde entrena Oscar de la Hoya? ¿Preferiste a Jotomí? Bueno, no, no he descartado a Big Bear todavía. Hoy me reúno con mi entrenador y no sé si vengamos a Big Bear o a, o a Toluca. ¿Dices que lo vas a tumbar en el sexto round? No, yo no dije que en el sexto, dije que a lo mejor antes. O sea, es una pelea que no pasa de seis rounds porque, como te digo, es un boxeador muy fuerte también él. ¿No es ventaja lo que de estatura que tiene él hacia ti? O sea, a lo mejor para él sí, sí va a ser su ventaja, ¿no? Él va a hacer su plan de pelea, su estilo, y va a ser el mío, y bueno, a lo mejor a él le beneficia, pero a, a, no sé, no sé. Ya está, para darle un saludo a todos los mexicanos que te apoyan, especialmente a los de Sonora, aquí que vienen en Los Ángeles. Un saludo, ¿no? Pues un saludo a toda la... A toda la, a mi gente de, de México, de Sonora especialmente, la gente que está en Phoenix, en Tucson. Y bueno, espero que el próximo 7 de mayo me estén apoyando, darles un triunfo para, para seguir poniendo nombre de México en alto. ¿A quién le dedicas esta pelea, Castillo? A mí mismo. Ya <risa> <risa> es hora que me la dedique a mí mismo, ¿no? <risa> Buena suerte. Ok. Yeah.